Developer 1 created an organization on GitHub and invited Developer 2 um, to be co-owner. So Developer 2 is now going to go to Google Chrome and to GitHub and in particular to the MCS270 demo organizational page on um, GitHub. And at this point, um, you know, anyone could see basic information about the organization, but because um, Developer 2 is actually logged in to GitHub, and you can again see that here, that they're logged in, it's Developer 2, um, it says Developer 1 has invited you to join, we can view that invitation, we can click the Join button, and at this point the organization now has two people in it, Developer 1 and Developer 2. Um, notice Developer 2 is also now an owner of the organization, which is um, what we intended. So we can get rid of um, uh, Chrome, and we can go to Android Studio, and Developer 2 can actually start creating um, a project to put as a repository in that organization. So we start a new Android Studio project as usual. Let's call it the demo project um, in some domain, usual directory location. Uh, next, um, as usual, we'll stick with API 16 and up. Um, use an empty activity and um, finish that up. And with any luck, we'll be in Android Studio. There's an internal error this just has to do with some problems I'm having switching back and forth between different user identities on the same um, computer. That's not something we need to really be worried about. Um, it shouldn't stop us from getting our work done. In the normal Android um, view of the project, we only can see certain selected things, Java classes, resource files. Um, I think you already know that if we want a more thorough view of all the files, um, we can go to the project view. And in particular, in that project view, I'm going to select a file called gitignore and open that up. And we don't really need a fancy plugin for this, so I'll just ignore that. Um, this is the file that says which files um, should not be um, stored in the Git repository, should just be kept on the local machine. And um, it includes two entries from the idea directory, but in fact I'm going to select all of um, this stuff that you see highlighted and hit the delete key um, so that we're down to just saying that the entire .idea directory should be um, excluded from the repository. And that's because that's where information specific to the development environment, to the Android Studio um, user interface and so forth, gets stored. And having that in the project repository um, creates problems when we have multiple um, developers collaborating. It also clutters up our commits with changes to files we're not really interested in um, the fact that they change, that aren't reflective of programming um, development work on the project itself. So having made that one change in Git Ignore, we're done with that, we can now go to VCS menu, import into version control, share project on GitHub, um, and um, I guess I left behind a repository with that name before, so let's um, for expedience sake, call this the Demo2 repository. And um, we're going to share that on GitHub. And um, it'll add all the files except um, the ones that GitHub, uh, GitIgnore said to leave out. So we'll say OK. And um, at this point, it's pushing it. It successfully shared it on GitHub. If I click this link, it'll open it up in my browser. So there it is, the Demo2 repository. And you can see it's in the MCS270 Developer 2 area. It's a pri not a private repository in the sense of um, other people can't see it, um, but a, an owned 
repository owned by this um, one GitHub user, which is not what we want. Um, so I'm going to go to the settings for this repository. And um, down here in this danger zone, transfer the ownership of the repository. So to confirm, we're transferring demo2, and we're going to transfer it to the MCS270 demo organization. Click that we really want to do that. Um, it's making sure that no one else is trying to give away my uh, precious repository, so it makes me confirm um, my GitHub password here which, yeah, sure, I'll let Chrome remember that. So the repository has been moved to um, the MCS270 um, demo area. And so if we were now to look um, at that repository, the demo2 repository, um, we'd see it's in the MCS270 demo organization now, rather than um, held um, by this one individual. Um, which means that um, developer one now can also get at it. And in fact, in the next video, um, I'll show just that.